Hello there, this is me, Graham Davis, in my Second Life avatar guise, Groovy Winkler, and in this short video clip I'm going to take you on a tour of the Eurocall headquarters in Second Life. Let's begin by turning myself round so that I can uh, see where I'm walking. Okay, now we are facing the Eurocall Centre here. This is the, the porch. If you look through the window, there's our pet greyhound, Mick the Miller. You'll find that sometimes he comes out of the lounge onto the porch and eats his dinner. If you want a free Eurocall t-shirt, you can help yourself to one here by clicking on the box by the front door. Let's go in the lounge and have a look round. It's quite a cosy little place. We've tried to make it look friendly with a nice warm fire in the background and there's, there's our house cat sitting by the fire. Uh, some comfy chairs and bean bags. Coca-Cola machine which you can uh, get a drink from if you're thirsty. And here on the floor there's a box marked some great landmarks which will give you a list of interesting places to visit in Second Life. Up here in the upper lounge area, you'll notice there are two PowerPoint presentation screens. This one we're looking at now is mainly a collection of photographs. If I click on the forward button, it will change and you'll see a, a few coming into view now. That's um, a shot of uh, the village of Asmanshausen on the Rhine, a place I've visited several times. This is another place that I really like in Germany, Bernkastel. And here is my dog Brett, the brindle one on the left, sleeping on our sofa with my daughter's dog Petra. We also have a few screenshots of Second Life. This is Flopsy Book Night, also known as Scarlet O'Hara of the Islands, showing off one of her elegant gowns. If we turn around and go to the other end of the lounge there's a presentation on what Eurocall is all about. It's a straightforward PowerPoint presentation. You can just flip through it and pick up information on what the association aims to do, etc. Now we'll take a quick look upstairs we could walk up the stairs, but there's an easier way of doing it. Uh, here behind the bookcase, just below the Eurocall poster, there's a so-called teleporter. If I click on this, it will give me a list of places that I can teleport to, i.e. transfer instantly. If I click room 1, which is the uh, first room upstairs, and then click on the beam, just as in Star Trek, I'm taken up to a room which has a video presentation screen. Now I usually use this screen for um, YouTube videos or selected videos from various sources. I'll just square it up. Now if we're lucky and I press on the button here at the top right of the screen and click on Parcel Streaming Media it should start a presentation of a video which shows Second Life being used in a school. Not many schools use it, but this one, the John Hansen School in Hampshire, uses it to teach um, mainly mathematics, I think, and um, me media design and that kind of thing. There's the video coming up now. We just show a few minutes of the video. Multi-user virtual environments, otherwise known simply as virtual worlds, 
are being explored by an increasing number of people on a social basis. I'll stop the video now. That's um, a brief uh, tour of Uracool. We have um, other places that you can visit. There's uh, a nice sun deck here which we can have a look at if I can get around the door. And there's a, another room next door where there is <coughs> yet another PowerPoint presentation screen. This time it's a presentation on the ICT for LT project. Well that shows you what we have in the inside the building and uh, later on I'm going to make another video to show you what we have outside and uh, on the roof, yes on the roof, and also in our next door neighbours plot uh, which is right next door. Thank you for your attention.